This web page shows you how you can quickly and very easily clear a blurred image on a web page. This is the web address with the instructions here, advice and uh, solutions slash 29. The step-by-step -step instructions are here. Basically, it's really easy to do. Now, if the image has been blurred with an image editing program like Photoshop before that image is uploaded to the web server, not a heck of a lot you can do because the individual pixels that make up that image have been saved in the image file. However, if the image is blurred using CSS code, like this image here, unblurring it is real easy. The way CSS code works to blur an image is instructions that are on the web page become attached to the image itself. So simply remove the image from the web page, which separates the CSS code instructions from the image, and you'll see a clear view of the image. Just right click the blurred image, open image in a new tab, and there you go. There is the clear picture unblurred. Another way you can do this, which is actually a very fun bookmarklet, it's on this web page, advice and dot solutions 29. Scroll down, you're going to see free bookmarklet app to clear remove blur from an image online. This is the bookmarklet here. All you do is you drag and drop that bookmarklet to your bookmarks bar in your web browser and any web page that has images blurred using CSS will instantly become unblurred. As a matter of fact, it uh, unglues all CSS code from the web page. The web page is going to fall apart and things that the website owner might want to be hidden from its visitors will suddenly become visible. So it can be all kinds of fun, but I'll show you again. Here's the image blurred with CSS. We'll click Click the bookmarklet and you'll see the CSS formatting for the web page has been removed. And as I previous mentioned, this can be a lot of fun on all websites. For example, here's eBay. We'll click the bookmarklet and the web page pretty much becomes unrecognizable. And any elements that you see surrounded with a red rectangle. These are things that were hidden with CSS code that you caused to be unhidden by clicking the bookmarklet. And it's actually really sort of a good hacking tool for some websites. Fun to say the least, and it's 100% free. Again, just come to advice and dot solutions slash 29.